All right, getting right to our first interview of the day. And it's a special one, whether you know her from her late night talk shows, stand up tours or best selling books. Chelsea Handler has established herself as one of the most celebrated voices in entertainment, and she's about to join us on TVL as she gets ready to make a stop in Huntsville this weekend. Chelsea, thank you so, so much for coming on the show. Hopefully we can get you here in a second. There you are. I'll tell you, I'm a little nervous because I know you have quite the experience in interviewing celebrities, so um, I hope I do well in your eyes this morning. But again, a lot of people know who you are. We really want to know, though, who you are right because we see this incredible career and in addition to that I'm told you're one of six kids who decided to get into stand-up after telling an interesting story at age 21 did you ever think you'd work your way up to becoming the pop culture icon you are now oh my goodness well thank you for all of those kudos how cute are you oh thank you thank you um, I hoped I would I hoped I would be successful as an adult female so yes I'm, I'm very happy to uh, I've kind of I always, you know, hoped that I would have a big life, and I was always kind of a big loudmouth. Not always, kind of. I was. Only the best it, When I was little, yeah, this didn't happen overnight. This was the way I was born. I just couldn't control myself. I had lots of outbursts, and I had lots of opinions, and I wanted people to hear them. So uh, stand-up comedy turned into a natural kind of pivot for me in the right way. It was an accidental, um, it was a happy accident, I should say, but it's turned out to be a great uh, a great gift uh, of mine, and I get to share it with the world by coming to different places all over the country and places like Alabama. Who knew I'd be coming to Huntsville, Alabama? We are so, so excited. And Chelsea, again, you're so right. This is a natural gift that you have. I always think it's so funny. You know, I'll see, I feel like there are two different kinds of toddlers, right? There's the one toddler who's like hugging on to his mother's leg, like, don't look at me. And then there's one toddler who's like, everyone look at me and watch me perform. And I just feel like that's just an innate quality. And so I love that you've tapped into that. And so many people have identified with you and love, love your humor. When you look back on your career, I mean, any moments that particularly stand out? Who, who's your favorite celebrity guest you've ever interviewed? Um, well, I just want to revert back to like the difference between two toddlers. There's the toddler that is shy and wants to hang out to their parents. Then there's right. the toddler that wants to be on their own. And then there was me who was looking for my own apartment when I was like four. I was you trying to it, separate sis. from my family at four. I was like, listen, I don't understand what the situation here is with you people, but you don't seem prepared to have children. I can't it work feels like, like this. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, I'm not, I definitely can't work like this. I'm going to have to branch out on my own and probably get my own place and start my own business because we were not aligned, my family and I. They grew up, they had, they were ill prepared. And I felt from the very beginning that I should have been on my own. Well, we know, again, we know so many people are grateful that you are. And, of course, comedy. We can even just tell from this interview you're, you're so good at it. You're on tour right now. I'm curious, how does your style in being a stand-up comic differ from the kind of humor that, you know, you've previously tapped into as a show host? Oh, well, I mean, they kind of all blend together, you know. I think with stand-up these days, it's really important to just let people forget about what's going on in the world and all of the hate and divisiveness and really bring people together and just give them a good time. And hopefully people, you know, Hopefully there are a couple of happy accidents in the audience from laughing too hard. That's really my goal whenever I'm coming anywhere is to spread joy and sunshine. My middle name is Joy, so I take it very seriously. Oh, I love that. That's so fitting. I had no idea. I'm so grateful for that fun fact. And kind of on that note, Chelsea, I mean, what do you really hope that through your lifelong work in comedy and perhaps more specifically with this tour in particular, that people walk away really knowing and, and feeling about themselves, right? I mean, I think humor is all about building relationships and connecting with one another. What do you hope your fans really know? That they're empowered, that they know that they're seen, that nobody feels invisible, you know, that everybody's opinion and voice should be heard and, and, and you matter. Like, I just want everyone to feel seen, especially people who feel left out. I want them to know like, no, 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 you're welcome here. Yeah. Well, again, Chelsea, we thank you so much for the role that you've played in that. We know that you're really a trailblazer in this field. It's been an honor to chat. Welcome to Huntsville. You're going to be here this weekend, Sunday, right? Recap for us where all you're going to be, where people can get tickets, yes. all the things to come see it. I will be here uh, at uh, the Mark C. Smith Concert Hall. Yes. And tickets are available at ChelseaDollar.com. Uh, Chelsea ChelseaHandler.com. I'll be there this Sunday night. Yes. All right. We can't wait to see you, girl. Welcome to Huntsville. Such an honor to get to chat with you. Thank you again so much. Hope to interview you again sometime soon. Or maybe we can. Thank you. Just Take chat care. All right, Chelsea. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Thanks.